I hate not being able to sleep at night because I hear gunshots. Growing up as a kid, we were able to play outside without being in a dangerous environment. We were able to play outside until the street lights came on, and that's when we knew that we would have to go in. Before I committed my life to Christ, I lived a lifestyle of just reckless behavior. Many of my friends that I grew up with, that I went to school with, are either incarcerated or dead. As I got older, I got more wise about choices and people that I hung with and decisions that I made. And it just prepared me when I did have my own children. Hey, this is not what I want you to do. Goofball. I love you. Where your burger? go? I found out about the Scholar House. I started to attend the meetings. I started to call and then do everything that I could to get involved in the program. Next semester, I will be able to graduate, get my associates. I heard stories from my father who grew up here about what Parkland used to be like. Actually, my nieces go to the daycare that's right up, or just a, a block up here, my four nieces. The people in this community know what it's like to have to listen to gunshots ringing out, to feel their blood pressure rise, and to have to duck to the floor to take cover. This is real for the people in my community. If people cannot feel safe in the neighborhoods that they live in, what do we have? Nothing. I began a research project. I found gunshot detection technology. We're in the Louisville Metro Police Real-Time Crime Center where we monitor our fixed surveillance cameras across the city. Gunshot detection technology uh, is actually a fairly simple uh, acoustical process. When we get gunshot detection technology and it gets integrated with the cameras, our analysts will be able to take a look at what's going on directly from here. You have a number of microphones placed strategically in an area. Gunshot goes off, the microphones triangulate the sound, then they send it to a computer system that analyzes it to uh, determine whether it's an actual gunshot or not. That's then verified by a human. The police department is then notified of the exact location of the gunshot. Within 60 seconds, that will be relayed to uh, on-the-ground personnel. They found suspects still at the scene when they've gotten there. They have found victims whose lives they've been able to save. And then they've also been able to begin the conversation with residents in the neighborhood more swiftly. Because we're going to know exactly where uh, the gunshot was, it's going to increase our ability to capture evidence that we can then use to link to known offenders who have used the weapons. Uh, and weapons that have been used in other crimes. And a lot of people that do live here that, that notice it, well, they're afraid to speak up and they're afraid to talk about the problems that they do see. We absolutely want people to continue calling 911. This isn't a substitute for that, but what it does is for those who are either resigned to the fact that this just happens so often that it's not worth calling about, or people who are too afraid to, uh, this is gonna increase our ability to respond to things that they know we need to be responding to. Nobody deserves to live in a neighborhood where gunfire is normal. If I hear gunshots, that means somebody's getting shot at or somebody's shot. That's something that I pray about all the time. There's so much life and vibrancy right here in the heart of this community. It is in their bones how much they love um, this neighborhood. With love, sometimes comes a feeling of great responsibility. I would not run from a neighborhood that I know that needs help. Anything is worth a try. This is where I was born and raised. The West End of Louisville needs assistance, needs more people to step up, to have that determination to make a difference for this neighborhood. Changes will come.